one of the, the beauties of the Book of the New Sun and, and really anything that Gene Wolfe has written is that there is, there is no such thing as an extraneous or random detail. Uh, anything that he has put into the text has been put there uh, with intention and often is meant as a sort of a clue or a message to the reader. When Folio came to ask about projects that I might be interested in, in working on, uh, the Book of the New Sun had been sort of sitting in the back of my head for, for years as something I'd love to try to take a, take a stab at making artwork for. I think there were some qualities about the text that really appealed to me in a, in a way uh, that maybe other books don't. There's sort of a mysterious quality to the way that he writes. A lot of things are sort of just out of reach. They're not obvious right away, they're revealed slowly or, or mysteriously or backwards or, or, or unfold in a way that's unexpected. And uh, As an artist I thought it would be sort of interesting to try to communicate that in some way, you know, make the images feel uh, almost a little grayed out or impressionistic. There was sort of a quality in the writing that I, I thought um, I would be a good fit for, actually, um, which was one of the reasons I pitched it in the first place. Do you have a favorite? <laughs> I do have a favorite, or, or, or a couple favorites, I think. I mean, it's, it has nothing to do with what's going on in the image. You know, it's oftentimes just how they came together. I mean, I'm really happy with how the Mandragora Curio Cabinet came out. Also, you know, Sever Severian uh, talking to the Undyne, uh, I think, came out really well. There's something about the softness of that one that was a little unexpected and also uh, just really exciting to me. Um, and then Jonas and the Mirrors. The book is not only a book, but it's about a book. And we're reading a text that has been written by a, a character in the, in the novel. So there's this history of illustrated books and, and decorated manuscripts that I wanted to reference. And the, the decorative, decorative drop caps seemed like a kind of an interesting entry point into them. Um, there's so much in this novel that I want to express. The drop caps kind of became this space where I could uh, see these small little details and secrets that I had sort of discovered throughout the book. I came across this old medieval alphabet that I seeded with my own kind of images and metaphors and, and details and things. I really tried to make sure that uh, every small moment inside those little illustrations has uh, something to say about the story or you know what I think about the story. The color palette on the bindings was supposed to sort of uh, exist as this contrast to what's going on inside the story. I mean, without revealing too much about the, about the narrative, it's a setting set in the future and the sun has dimmed down to a, you know, a, a small shallow ember of what it once was. And so I, uh, I imagine this world as, as, uh, as sort of poorly lit and gray and uh, in a world where uh, details are hard to, to see clearly and all this kind of thing. Uh, the bindings, I wanted to sort of exist as a contrast, so I've uh, created them to be very colorful using primary colors, uh, you know, the red, uh, a reference to blood, the blue, a reference to the claw, yellow, the, the autarch's colors. It somehow made the images seem like weirder and, and, and more creepy. How do you get from a page like this to, to a final illustration? I mean, I, I start off doing, I mean, I, I read the text and I start off doing these little, these little kind of thumbnails. And this was the notebook that I had, um, that I kept while I was, while I was working on this project, um, taking notes and, and, uh, and you know, uh, just ideas about the project. But then also I'm building a lot of these maquettes and things to understand the spaces and, and realize, realize what it's going on. There are these, these little details I think add a, a sense of, of honesty and, and realness to the drawing that, that I like. You know, I mean, and I hope the, the readers get something out of seeing that. The Book of the New Sun is unique in that it's the, the biggest project I've ever, I've ever worked on. Uh, and it took me um, pretty well an entire year. I think uh, this is the best work I've ever done, actually. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with, uh, with how these came out. It's a hard thing to admit. I don't, I don't like sort of you know, patting myself on the back too much. I've just never been comfortable with it, but I'm really, really happy with these. Really, really happy with how this came out.